Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we have an exciting new item to review. We have the Toner Q9 USB condenser microphone. We are going to show you how this budget microphone stacks up to the competition. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Welcome! First of all, I just want to say thank you to Toner for providing us this product to review. That being said, this is not a paid advertisement and the opinions expressed are that of my own. So today we are going to unbox this thing. We're going to go over all the specs and features. We're going to test it out and then we're going to compare it to some other mics at similar price points and then most importantly we're going to discuss whether or not you should buy it let's stop gabbing and let's get into it you know what time it is rgb knife engage that never gets old so normally this is probably going to come in a nice toner box and since this is sent to a social media reviewer they just sent it in a bag like so and without the fancy box but that's okay it still has the same internals and the same components so Let's take a look what's inside of this thing. What's, oh, in, the box? what's in the box? Calm down, Brad. Let's get this open and see what exactly is in here. All right, so we got a little packet here. Let's put that aside. And this is a nice little foam insert to protect all of our components. Let's pull out a, all these components and see what each one looks like. There is our pop screen. There's the nice little pop screen with flexible bendable arm. That's quite a big pop screen too right there. It's about a little bit smaller than my hand. And so then here is our mic cover. Nice and flat. I'm sure it'll puff out once we put it on there. Our little instruction guide. Probably a quick setup guide. And this would be our shock mount. It's pretty sturdy looking. Pretty heavy, solid metal. It's not a plastic ring. That's the first thing I noticed here. The whole thing is actually metal, except the, the actual elastic band. So that's a plus. The last couple that I've reviewed have been entirely plastic. The external ring plus the shroud itself that holds the mic have been plastic. This one is in fact metal, all metal. So that's a, that's a nice bonus. Let's see here. Here is the microphone itself. And again, solid metal, full metal casing with a nice metal threaded insert at the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's what it looks like. We'll zoom up on all this after we're done unboxing. And what is this? This is our USB-A to USB-C cable. And here is our actual boom mic arm. Each component was in nice bubble wrap with an additional plastic sleeving. sleeving. Again, it feels pretty solid. It's a pretty decent feeling arm here. So let's set that aside. And then our last piece that we need to open is our clamp for the arm itself. And this one's actually sealed. So let's just go ahead and rip that out of the seal. And definitely all metal except the little turny knob on that guy. All right, let's just take a quick glance at all the components nice up and close. There's our USB-A to USB-B. There is our boom swing arm. There is our nice shock mount, all metal encased. There is the nice microphone itself, again, all metal encased. There is our pop screen with a nice flexible arm, the windscreen for the mic, and of course the nice manual. Okay, quickly, let's just go ahead and go over the specs on this thing. Again, this is the Toner Q9 condenser USB microphone. It is a USB microphone. It runs off of a standard USB-A connector, and then the other side is a USB-B, which is the 
type of USB that most printers actually utilize. It is a plug and play microphone and it works across multiple platforms, including Windows and Mac and of course, PlayStation, but not Xbox. This microphone highlights a sleek design. It has a sturdy boom arm, a nice pop screen and a shock mount to eliminate any excess sound that could be caused by any desktop bumps. Features the Toner Q9 boasts excellent sound quality and great sound range. It has convenient volume buttons for plus and minus right here. It does have a discrete power on indicator light, which I'll show you once I plug it in. It has a nice tiny little blue light right above the buttons. And very importantly, it has a sturdy boom arm with the shock mount. Of course, the nice shock mount is a really heavy duty all metal design. And of course, it comes with an oversized, really nice pop screen. The Toner Q9 highlights all of these features and it comes in a very sturdy, almost all metal design, unlike some of the competitors. And all of these features are packed in and highlighted while still coming in at a very competitive price point. Okay, so here we are, we're over into our desktop. Currently, I am speaking on my other microphone right now, the one that I had recently made a video about. This is the one I've been using as a primary. And then over here, I have the Toner Q9 that we're going to test. We're gonna do some side-by-side -side testing on these and see which one sounds best. And we're gonna do them side by side. We're gonna see how clear they are. And then I've decided I'm also going to test them using the fan on with the NVIDIA broadcast because that's how I'll be using it in an everyday setting because this is my mining space and this space gets kinda, kinda hot. And so I always keep a fan on and then I use the NVIDIA broadcast noise filtering. So I wanna see side by side on both of those options. And I'll let you decide which one you think sounds the best since both of these come in at a similar price point. And make sure to comment down below which one you think sounds best and if one of them sounds better and if you can tell any differences and any nuances. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So. So I'm currently using the Fifine A8 Ampli Game microphone right here, and I think it's very important to have the same amount of distance and to have the exact same software settings. So we're using OBS to record, and we're going to have the distance the same, and then we're going to do a live read. Then I'm going to bring the other one over. I'll start talking on it, and I'll do the same exact live read. So let's go ahead and do the test read, and I am about six inches away from the microphone, and that's what most places suggest for good, crisp, clear audio on these types of condenser microphones. So that's what we're going to do. Test read. Welcome. It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to be doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. All right, so now I have the Q9 here, and I can already tell that the gain on this thing is immense. It needs to be toned down because I feel like this is probably going to be super loud. But both mics are going to be tested, turned all the way up, and then I'll make some adjustments. Test read. Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we are doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so now I have brought the gain down on the Q9 to try to match the correct levels with the A8 Fifine. And then that way it's comparing apples to apples because I don't have one that's super loud, one that's super quiet. These should be about the same now. So let's do a test read again. Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and use NVIDIA Broadcast to use the noise removal function. And I'll go ahead and turn on my fan so that it is like my normal standard practice. So let's get that going. All right, fan is running in the background. I am on the Q9 toner. Let's do some noise removal and see how it sounds after that. All right, so now the noise removal is in there. It should be getting rid of some of this background noise. So let's do the test read again. 
We'll start with the QAnon and then we'll move over to the Fifine A8. Test read. Welcome. It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we are doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Test read. Welcome. It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. So now let's hear the five line with the noise removal off. It is currently on noise removal. Now I am turning off the noise removal and it should be picking up that fan blasting into it. I can see by the movement on the mixer. Plenty of fan noise. Let's remove it. magic it's gone all right so now that that's out of there we did a test read on both sides we did an nvidia broadcast test read on both sides let's give a little bit more talking on this microphone let's test out the the gain and then we'll also test out the mute and just make sure that everything works right with it and then we'll move back over to our desktop and we'll talk about some pros and cons and give you our recommendation on should you buy the toner q9 let's go all right so we're back on to our q9 we got this thing set up it, it really is nice i kind of have it awkwardly set up over here in reality i would have it over to this other side where the five fine is and eventually i'll move things around but just for testing i wanted to put one on each side that way i could easily rotate them back and forth on which one i'm actually testing with so i do have the nvidia broadcast running right now with noise removal and the fan is running still and so let's test the volume control on this thing. There's just a little plus and minus button on the front side here. And so let's turn it all the way up while we're still talking. And now crank this thing all the way up. And it does have a click button. And I don't know if it'll show up. Let's just click it and see if it shows up on the clicking. Yeah, so you can hear the clicking because it's a click type button on the microphone, whereas some others use the different types of controls that may not leave that clicking sound. And, and maybe that's not important because maybe you're not switching the volumes up and down anyway. Um, that clicking noise could be an issue. Um, so there it is. And, and we're turned all the way up, so it's probably like really loud right now. So let's crank it back down as we're talking. And let's just see how it cranks down. How fast it comes down. I'm just doing one click at a time every so often just to see what the noise levels do. And then we'll go from there. It's super low now on the equalizer. So you can Self is still on. I was still talking there. And then I just turned it all the way back up on all the way back up now we're fully cranked back up so it tells us also that if you hold either the volume up or the volume down for three seconds that it'll shut the power off of this thing so let's try that real quick did turn off when I held it down, the little blue light on the other side of the microphone. Let's see if we can actually see that guy. I can just, I can just turn this upward. So there is the little blue light right here. It's hard to see. Yeah, there we go. This little blue light over here, and then your volume up and down, down here. And if you hold either the plus or the minus for three seconds, it will shut the power off. So right... And now it's back on. And so, yeah, that's that's a pretty nice little function. It's kind of like a mute button, but you're really just powering the whole thing off. Um, it's not as easy as just a quick mute button. And maybe that's something that should be added. And maybe, and maybe that's something that you need to consider. But if you're using a keyboard and mouse, most of the time you can mute wherever you're using the microphone anyway. Let's put our pop screen back up to block some of my some of my air, some of my noise. Um, I feel like this is still a little bit loud. Let's go down a couple clicks to where I would probably be using it on a normal. So yeah, there's my normal volume.
We'll do one more quick read between the two of them, just to give you one last feel, and then we'll jump over. Tessery, welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to do some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Fine, fine. Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we are going to be doing some testing and some nerdy numbers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so yeah, there you go. There's the Toner Q9. It seems very nice. It's a very solid arm. It doesn't seem to have too much play. One key point I found with this compared to the cheap uh, swing arm, boom arm that I had prior that I'm still using is that down at the base here, let's see if I can see, down here at this base, there is a little bushing in this that actually it pivots around. And on my other model, it was quite an issue it is kind of wallowed out it's kind of um loosened itself over time so i'm thinking that this little bushing here should keep this from going bad and maybe it's just the other one from overuse over time and maybe this one just has a slightly better design but it is a good feel it is a very solid construction it had tightens down quite well so there you go let's hop back over to the desk and let's discuss the rest of this so here we are, we've done our testing, now we're back at our desk. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros and some of the cons of this microphone. Let's start with the cons first. First off, it has a USB-B connection down here on the bottom of the mic, and I would have liked to see that be a updated USB-C, but still it does come with the included cable, so that's not really a big concern. The buttons, it has the click style up and down for the volume buttons rather than a adjustment knob. And I would have preferred the gain knob. And the reason I prefer a gain knob is that if you are using the microphone, you don't have any of that clicky noise. You're just turning a dial. Additionally, I would have liked to see a touch sensor for a quick mute rather than having to hold either the up or the down button to turn the microphone off. And of course, this microphone does not highlight any fancy RGB. All right, enough with the bad. Let's get into the good. This thing highlights a solid heavy metal design across the entire thing. The microphone, the arm, even the shock mount has a really solid feel. If I drop it or knock it off somehow, I don't think it's going to explode into a million pieces like some of the plastic competitors. Next, this thing highlights great sound range and great performance. And of course, it comes in at a very competitive budget price point. It does have the volume up and and volume down quick buttons on the microphone itself and of course it highlights the discrete blue power indicator light right there and most importantly is the solid metal boom arm with many adjustments conclusion let's go ahead and put a bow on this thing the toner q9 condenser usb microphone is a sleek solid performer at a very competitive price point this microphone is a great upgrade for entry-level gamers streamers looking to level up their game. Again, links will be down in the description for both the official Amazon listing and the official Amazon toner store. Additionally, I did a ton of research and I added some links for some top performer mics from other price groups down in the description. And that just about wraps it up. Let's go ahead and pop over to that outro. Well, there you have it, the Toner Q9 USB microphone. This really seems to be a quality streaming and gaming microphone that won't break the bank. Tell us what you think. Make sure to sound off down in the comments. How do you think it really sound? I think it sounds really good and stacks up to the competition quite nicely. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.